six Indian innovators were awarded grants to develop sanitation solutions as part of Reinvent the Toilet Challenge. The grants were awarded at the Reinvent the Toilet Fair, hosted by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and the Department of Biotechnology. Mint spoke to few of the grant winners about their projects. The objective is to have an energy neutral system for a single household or for a gated community. And to, to do that, we, we rely on a system called as bioelectrochemical cell. And that produces biogas as well as uh, because of the bioelectrochemical system, it enhances the energy content of the biogas that produces. And you get a better treatment like pathogens are removed in the uh, system. Um, and uh, the output that comes out of this system will further be used for nutrient recovery so that the, there is some advantage on the total cost of the system working. Target is like, for example, the amount of centralized sewage treatment system in India and the gap between the centralized sewage treatment system uh, that, that caters for the population is too less. So it's, this is like more like a decentralized system and which can, it depends on the individual households who wants to have it. But our intention is also to look at the slums that where it can be implemented as well. Two of my senior faculty, uh, Dr. Sanjay Pal and Ajit Madhavan, came up with this idea that water uh, that is contaminated with enteric coliforms or pathogenic bacteria uh, are the major problem. So if we can enrich for viruses that are specific for these bacteria, these coli, enteric coliforms uh, called bacteriophages, then we could use these bacteriophages or bacterial viruses to treat the water and get rid of a large percentage of those pathogenic coliforms. It is economical, it does not require any advanced technology. It is technology that is self-replicating in the sense that the bacteria and the, the viruses are already present in the sewage. We are just utilizing those properties that the, bac the bacteriophages can infect only the viruses for which, um, the bacteria for which they are specific. I'm trying to add some scientific innovation so that we can take out, you know, the most value that we can we could take out from the human excreta is full of nutrients and if we can take out these values and uh, kind of harness all these values so that there's a marketability of the products so that will add a lot of values to it so that there will be entrepreneurial development and then that will self-sustain the whole business model so this is all about my project and I am utilizing uh, a fly called black soldier fly whose larva is a prolific eater of everything every kind of organic waste that you can think about so they will be doing the magic so they'll be eating up the solid faces and then you know I can take them the mature larva out and the mature larva will be processed for uh, you know it, it we, you can make uh, animal feed like fish feed or chicken feed out of those mature larva but if you can process further, you can take fats and uh, chitin, which is the shell material. And then after you take this, all these values out, what is remaining is the protein. And you can make the protein as a fish feed or animal feed, which is a very great market value right at this point of time. I'll be setting up in a small scale in uh, our laboratory in IIT Roorkee. We'll be setting up a urine diverting toilet in our campus, which will be used by primarily by the employees. And I'll be collecting the solid feces, and the urine will be diverted. So I'll take the solid feces and take it out in, into my lab, and then I'll use those black soldier flies uh, to see how they can uh, consume this thing, and then how the temperature and moisture content is going to affect their ability to convert these solid faces into valuable products.